Hello everyone, Dana 14th Prime here. Today I want to check out with you guys the Jada Toys Metals Diecast Optimus Prime. This is G1 inspired from their Hollywood Rides line. And check out this packaging, very reminiscent of G1 toy. Let's let this thing spin around a bit here. Get that classic cab. Hollywood Rides down there in the corner. On the other side to take a shot at giving you a little bit of a robot there. And uh, the package overall, it's about a six inch figure, so about a six inch box. But really, really looking classic G1 with a nice little inspired pack out with all this good artwork. So let's compare this to the G1 toy. So here I've got a Takara Encore release of the G1 Optimus Prime. Of course, our metals diecast figure up top there, and you can just see the artwork borrowing for some of that classic design. Of course, the logo and figure over here, even how they're doing the Autobot Optimus Prime. Kind of hard to tell because that's all in Japanese, but similar branding and theme. Okay, so here's our Metals Diecast G1 Optimus Prime out of the box. I will say a little annoying when you unpack him. He's screwed into uh, the bottom of the box, basically, with a plastic fixture. So you'll need a tiny screwdriver to set him free. Again, a little under uh, six inches here in size. It says diecast. I will say he feels kind of light, uh, not as hefty a diecast as some of the other figures I've had myself. Uh, but it's definitely very, very well done. Very nostalgic with G1. They've done a nice job. Tail lights there in the back. Nice shiny blue for the truck. The rims all chromed out. You know, the tanks there all chromed out. And then all the detailings across the cab. Classic silver stripe. The grill. The horns on top of the cab there. Some nice color kind of tinting across the windows, it looks like. Autobot logo on the side. So very, very cool. You know, everything that looks like it should be there. Even got a little trailer hitch. We'll get the trailer out and see just how well this guy fills in for the real G1 toy. Uh, but it looks like it's going to do a pretty nice job, I think. We'll let him come back around here just a little bit. Again, tires nice, black, shiny. It really does look good. Just wish it was a bit heftier from the diecast. It feels like maybe only the cab itself is probably diecast. Don't know, but um, not super heavy out of the box. Let's compare the metals diecast up top with the uh, G1 size toy. And you can see they're pretty much spot on the same length. Maybe just a slight bit longer there. You get a mud flap and everything with the metals diecast. But um, look at the size of the two. You do see a bit of difference here straight on the toy on the left. Just a bit taller it looks like and I'd probably even say the toy is just a hair wider as well so the dimensions overall are very close length and width I think the most noticeable to me right there is straight on you get just a little bit of extra height and then if we just compare their detailing overall you know a lot's the same right you get the little reflectors I guess accented on Jada Toys you get the horns on top painted uh, the lights on top are painted a bit of an orange there Kind of hard to see, but that's uh, a fine detail. From the side view, you get these nice chrome handles with Jada Toys kind of through there and also back here as well. The stacks probably look better on the toy itself because it's thicker and flusher. Chrome tanks, of course, totally different sizes because the wheels really go all the way back on the Jada Toys version because the toy had the feet right there. Then here from the back, Jada Toys... A lot more going on with the, the detail of the, the lights, tail lights, and then I'm definitely back through here with the whole exhaust system. And then here up top, you get a more natural trailer hitch looking thing. It doesn't look like that's going to work. We get a peg here for the toy and a hole uh, for the metals diecast version. So the trailer's probably not going to work well for us. Very different blues. That dark blue here, you get you know more of these like brighter blues and reds with the diecast toy. Let's not forget here very quickly the robot on the underside just pays homage to the uh, Optimus Prime and bot mode. So you get a little mold there and the Autobot logo up top. And here we have the metals diecast trying to fill in uh, to be the truck for the toy version. But as you can see, as we had peg versus hole, it kind of messes with the height up here. It doesn't really attach. It just sits there and get a goofy looking angle, unfortunately. Would have been nice if you could at least made it set together. But because this has a big lip and a hole here, uh, you'd probably need to cut that off or something to get it to sit flush. Unfortunately, there's no great way to make that really come together how you would like and look natural. That's a shame. That would have been cool. If you like your G1 setup, you could have had this filling in. 
kind of keep the truck there and then had your your toy in bop mode. But that's not going to work without a bit of uh, damaging the toy, probably. Or maybe these guys are planning to come with their own trailer. Who knows? So there you have it, guys. The Jada Toys Metals Diecast G1 cab of Optimus Prime. Get about six inches in length, about seven bucks at any local retailer, Walmart, Target, what have you. I think for the price, a pretty cool little fill-in for your Optimus Prime collection. So no complaints from my end. You can look for this guy on my Amazon page as well. Link in the description below. Be sure to keep my Amazon page handy for you for all your transformers and different shopping needs. I keep everything kind of categorized out there so it's organized, easy to check in on Amazon on what's in stock and what the prices are. So check that out. Link in the description below. Thanks for checking in, guys. See you next time.